Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of tournaments. So basically, sorry for that. So basically each and every tournament which any kind of players play, it might be football tournament, it might be any kind of PUBG games tournament or any kind of tournament. So in each and every tournament, if there are 10 teams, each team should compete at least one match with each other, right? So there should be at least nine matches with each other. Like there could be multiple matches, but there is a minimum requirement of equal number of matches with each other, right? So if you consider only three things, so there should be a match between each and every one, right? So it should be with A with B and C, A with B and C, B with A and C, C with A and D, okay? So in this way, right? Yes. So it indirectly states that it is a complete graph, right? So you need to have all the combinations, all possible combinations. Okay, so a tournament T is a directed complete graph. Okay, so here we have K2. So in between two points, there will be only one. In between K3, we'll be having three. In between K4, we are having one, two, three, four, five, six. In this way. Okay, so a simple logic. Once the tournament is done, I told you director, right? So these directions indicate if someone is getting the arrow, he is a loser. He is a loser. And if someone is giving an arrow, he is a winner. Okay, so if you take a small example A, B, C, okay, so here the direction is in this way and here the direction is in this way. So in both the cases, A won the game. So A winning is a 2 and 0 losses and B lost 2 matches and won 0 matches. C lost 1 and gained 1. In this way, the tournaments and everything can be represented in terms of graphs also. Okay, so I hope everyone got some basic idea about all the concepts that we have discussed till now guys. So this is the last lecture of the subject graph theory okay okay one more thing guys if you are searching for important questions in this chap subject or in this chapter please go through each and every topic guys because the subject syllabus is only too low so please make sure that you are going through each and every topic and make sure that you're perfect with the topics which you are going through okay and one more thing is that i did miss some kind of theorems which i didn't find guys so if you think that this theorem is important and if you have an answer for that please share it with me or you can just comment down below so that in future, if someone is watching the video, they can use it, right? Okay. So, I hope everyone got a clear idea. So, in the next, let us meet in the next set of series with some other subject. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.